Well, hey crafty friends, it's Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming. On this video tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make clothes pin uh, snowflakes. They're super easy and they're, they look beautiful on a Christmas tree. Okay, and then I'm gonna just tell you a quick little something about what's behind me and I'll come back live later to show you all of that. Uh, I finally found the Christmas ornaments that I made last year. And these are some of them. So let me just show you that I made last year. This one has Dollar Tree cookie sheet with a punch. This one has a Dollar Tree cookie sheet with a punch. This one has a Dollar Tree cookie sheet with a punch. I was very obsessed with the Dollar Tree cookie sheets last year. I'll show you what that, what that is in case you don't even know. I also was going through a strong glitter phase. So I did a lot of glitter last year. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna show you how to make. And it's super easy. In no time at all, I whipped out this one, which is very similar to all the others. The only difference is that it has red glitter on it. I whipped out this one that is just natural, and I think it's very pretty. And then I was fiddling around with these smaller clothespins, and I made this one. I have not put hangers on these yet, but you're going to just... If you haven't already done these or seen these done, you're going to be saying, wow, I had no idea. It was so easy. Okay, so this package of clothespins had 100 pieces. It came from Walmart in the laundry section, not crafting, with laundry. And it was like $1.75 for 100 pieces. I know you can also get packages of clothespins at Dollar Tree, at different craft stores. Um, and they're all roughly the same quality. I don't think you need super high quality clothespins for this project. So you're just gonna take them out and this is what they look like in case you don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take them apart just by twisting them. And then when you pull one out, you'll have this guy still on there and you're just gonna pull it off, okay? This is a little mechanism that holds them together. I've also used this as a little angel's halo on something I'll show you later. So I have a pile of them here. I'm not, I'm not throwing them away, you know, in case we want to use them for something. So I'm just gonna take a bunch of these apart. Um, this is a good project to do while you're watching TV, uh, you know. Super easy. Okay, so let's move on to the next step. Um, the next step is easiest to do with a hot glue gun, but I suppose if there's another kind of glue that you really love, you could do that as well. I'm just gonna use my Sure Bonder low temperature hot glue gun. It's called a Cool Shot. I got this at either Home a Hobby Lobby or Walmart. I can't remember. I've been through a few of them. It was under $10, and the thing about this is that the glue is low temperature, and I feel like it's even a little lower temperature than a regular low temperature glue gun, and there's a risk that you'll get glue on your fingers for this craft. I don't make anything <laughs> if you buy one of these. I just don't want you to get burned because it hurts. Okay, so sometimes, I'm gonna show you this first. Okay, well, I'll show you the basic thing. Sometimes you wanna kind of figure out which pieces go together and you're gonna take the flat side, you're just gonna put a little glue on it and then you're gonna lay the flat side of the other side on it and pinch. And this is what you get. This is one of the points of the star. But sometimes I think it's fun to take two that don't match Oh, look at all the sprinkling. I forgot to say any of my stuff. Um, happy Friday. No, happy Thursday. I <laughs> uh, hope everyone's doing good. 
Um, my name is Heidi Scott. This is DIY Dreaming. If you have any questions along the way, feel free to ask. Feel free to sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Yeah, all that usual stuff. And I don't have any links for this project. I mean, I will tell you where I got things like Walmart, but there's no links for this. Okay, so I was saying sometimes it's fun and it looks interesting to match up two pieces that are different shades. And when you look through your clothespins, you're gonna see that there's a whole variety. I mean, it probably just depends on what tree they made it out of. Um, so you get a variety of them in the same pack. Okay, so that's what you do. You're gonna just do a whole bunch of those. All right, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick a top and a bottom. We'll do these two that are fun as a top and a bottom. I think you guys can see, but let me tell you this, in case you're new, if these comments right here are in your way, if you're watching on Facebook, you should be able to swipe them either up or down or side to side, either with your finger, with the cursor, or with the mouse, depending on your device, and they should disappear, okay? So the first thing you're gonna do is you're just gonna put two of them in a row. So I just put a little blob of glue. I'll hold this up in just a second. Don't worry if they're slightly wonky, like this one is. It does not matter. Okay, and then we're gonna go on the other side. And what I like to do is just put some glue in here. It's gonna all disappear because you're most likely gonna put something in the center anyways. You are gonna have a million glue strings. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the other side. So you get basically a cross. Does that make sense so far? And these hold together remarkably well. I just took these all out of a tub um, that I had in the basement. I was looking for my ornaments thinking, oh no, where are they? And they were actually with all my Christmas stuff in the basement. Um, and But those held up just fine. Okay, so then we're gonna go in between each one of these and put some glue in there and just stick our next little piece in. Do one more and then I'll show you. And you can be generous with your glue. So when I said this was super easy, was I right or what? If you guys have made these before and have pictures of them, please share them here in the comments. Or if you are a part of the group that I set up a year and a half ago called Dreamy DIY, um, which is a place for us to all share photos of our craft projects, that kind of thing, ideas, um, feel free to share them over there. And if you're not a member, go look, it's free to join. It's Dreamy DIY. Type that in the search bar at Facebook. D-R-E-A-M-Y space D-I-Y. That's the name of the group. You just have to answer the three questions. Will I be nice? Do I agree not to share other crafters videos? Yeah. And will I agree not to sell things there? Um, and then we'll say yes. And then you can go and look. There's a ton of pictures. Oh my gosh. People have been super busy doing all kinds of fun crafting and sharing ideas. I love it. Okay, so this is what we have. Isn't it cute and simple? Okay, now the next thing is, there's so many different things that you can do in the center. Like, um, like this is the perfect example. This is just a little sheet of wood pieces that is at Dollar Tree pretty much every Christmas time. I have multiples of these left over from last year. It has snowflakes, stars, and trees. We'll use the stars for the baby Jesus things that I'll show you later. Um, so we could use one of those, or I have some that are bigger that also came, I think they came from the Den Canadian Dollar Tree, but you can look around. There's, I mean, there's wood snowflakes everywhere, all different styles. 
So that's just, it's a little bit bigger than this one. Either way, we're gonna do this one, the smaller one, and I'm gonna show you the Dollar Tree cookie sheet thing. Okay, I'm gonna, I have a bunch of punches, which I really have not played with much this year, but last year I used them like a crazy person. Um, they all came from Hobby Lobby. They're no brand, they're the Hobby Lobby store brand. Um, I bought all of them and then they were like 40% off. So I have a variety of them. And I think we'll use this flower petal one. And we're gonna use a piece of a cookie tin. These come from Dollar Tree, they're in the baking section. You get two for $1. And one cookie sheet will go a long ways. And um, it does not hurt your punch or your scissors. And I'm just gonna put it into my punch and boom. You could also cut this out by hand if you wanted. So I'm going to determine which side looks yuckiest with all the hot glue. I can come back with my hot glue gun and kind of melt some of it, or I could decorate both sides if I wanted. I think this side looks better, so we'll do this side. Well, no, we'll do this side. Okay, so I'm gonna glue my little um, cookie sheet tin piece on the center of my snowflake. We're gonna decorate this too, so stay with me. And I'm gonna give you a little sneak peek of what I have back here. And then I will come live later today to show you all of it. Um, oh my gosh. And then I have some new ornaments that I'm working on that I'll try to get those instructions out for those today, possibly as well, like this. I have a bunch of different ones like that. and. I love making ornaments. I think it's fun to have more ornaments on your Christmas tree that you or your family made than that you purchased. Okay, so I just pulled the little sticky raised foamy thing off the back and we're gonna glue this on here. Okay, and that is what we have so far. Okay, but we're gonna play with some glitter and some Mod Podge in just a second. Um, I'm gonna take a piece of twine and I'm just gonna make a loop. It doesn't have to be super big. Where are my scissors? I have piles. This is too thick right here. I'm gonna cut that off. I have piles and piles and piles of things, of craft projects that are underway. Okay, so I'm just, I made a loop and I'm just tying a little knot towards the end of it, looks like that. And I'm gonna glue it on one of the points, just on the back. Okay, easy, huh? These would be fun to make with kids as well. Maybe you, you let them take the, um, if they're little, you let them take the clothespins apart, but you do the hot glue, and then you let them do the decorating part. Okay, so let's decorate. I'm gonna use Mod Podge, but you could use Eileen's Tacky Glue, Elmer's Glue, whatever glue you like to use when you're using glitter. So I'm just gonna open up my Mod Podge. I'm getting a brush. And first thing I'm gonna do is put a little bit of my Mod Podge just over the top lightly of my snowflake in the center. And then I'm gonna put a little blob at the tip of each one of the points. And you can decide, I mean, you could do the whole entire thing if you want. You can decide how far up you go, how thick you want it to be. Uh, okay. And 
And now comes the fun part. And when I'm working with my glitter, I usually put it on the paper plate and I'll show you the trick. This is why. Okay, have I opened this one yet? No, I haven't. Darn. The, the little, okay, this is called Sue Lynn's Extra Fine Glitter in Silver, Sparkling Silver, Sterling Silver. It came from Walmart, but you can get glue everywhere, but I love how little this stuff is. And I'm just gonna sprinkle it all over my project. You know, all over the areas that I know I put glue. You can put it on pretty thick. We're not gonna waste a single bit of glitter. Okay, so this is what we have. It's like decorating cookies with sprinkles. All right, now I'm gonna tap off the excess. And oh, and I see, okay, either I didn't have enough glue on this side, um, or I just didn't get glitter there, I don't know. Let me add a little bit more right here. Okay, I need a little more Mod Podge. I was too light-handed, or maybe I was too slow to get the glitter on it. So this is what it was doing, and I just want to fill that in. Okay. Okay. And there we go. Isn't that lovely? Now, if you want to try to keep your glitter from falling off, and I say try because it, it, it's, it's, some of it is gonna come off, it just is. Take it outside and really shake it off really good and then give it a coat of clear matte sealer. I wish I would have invented this stuff because I'm, I use it all the time. Um, and that will help somewhat with the glitter falling off. But isn't it pretty? I just love it. Let's see, there's still one little area right here. It's just not wanting to accept any glitter. So now I'm gonna show you my trick for conserving glitter. There we go, it's all covered. Okay, so my trick is, Oops, that's the lid to the glitter, not the Mod Podge. Okay, my trick is to, since I did it on a clean paper plate, I'm just gonna fold my paper plate in half, and I'm gonna funnel it all right back into my container and close it. And then for the next 48 hours, I'm gonna find glitter on my face, in my hair, on the floor, on the dog's noses, it's just unavoidable. But this is worth it. I love this glitter. So let me just show you one more time what we did. I showed you how to take the, the, um, the clothes pins apart, how to re-glue them together, how to make the shape of the star. I showed you how to use a punch with a cookie tin, tin sheet. Then we took one of these little Dollar Tree snowflakes uh, and we glittered it all and we just glued a little piece of twine on the back. Easy, easy, easy peasy. Seriously easy. So let me give you now, and I'll get pictures of this, of just this one craft. Um, I don't know. I could, you could do them all very simple or you could do them sparkly or you could do them in a color of glitter. It's just completely up to you what you prefer. Yeah, it reminds me of my childhood too. Okay, so I have multiple things out here from last year. And um, I'm going to come back and just go live later today with everything. But one thing I did want to show you is these were the ornaments that I made last year using the piece love and joy stencils and this this is um 
This is that same canvas, but I was still in a glitter phase and I just painted some Mod Podge or maybe this was Eileen's tacky glue, I think it was, around the edge and um, sprinkled the glitter on it and that was it. So I will be showing you those. I have a bunch of this, the adorable Christmas rolling pins that I made. Um, I made a ton of just these kind of little hangy downy things using wood cutouts and beads and jute. I made some that looked like just little doodads that I put sheet music on. I did some that were some of the Dollar Tree shapes. Um, I have a whole basket of these. They're the cork things. Um, I'm going to show you two more things and then we will come back this afternoon and I'll show you in depth all of those and kind of explain how we made them. Okay, this was my favorite ornament last year. This is a, a Jenga block uh, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph ornament. I will repeat this. We will do, actually do this one again this year. I just love the simplicity of it. Um, I chose not to draw faces on them or to give them any other embellishment other than the little burlap ribbon that's holding baby Jesus and the twine around the tummy. But you could do more, whatever you like. And here's one of the angel ornaments that we made last year that I used this to make her little halo. And I put her on a snowflake cutout with a heart cookie tree punched um, piece of Dollar Tree on there. And this is a, this is just one of these guys. This is her body. And then there's a gold um, little star. No, it's a snowflake like this that she's holding. So, um, this is a fun project also to do with your kids and grandkids and great grandkids and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to come back. We'll probably redo this one as well because I want to show you start to finish. Not today, but later in the season as we get closer to Christmas. But come back to me today. Uh, I have a whole pile of each kind over here. I have embroidery hoops. Um, oh, I have these to show you these two. Um, yeah, the whole bunch of things. Beaded garlands. And... Anyway, so come back later today here at DIY Dreaming uh, to watch the next video and I'll show you all of those things. Um, if you haven't already done one of these or a this, a heart or a thumbs up or said something, something in the comments, um, you can do that now if you want, and that will help Facebook know that you would like to see the stuff I have this afternoon. Also, take two seconds to make sure that you've liked and followed this page. And Susie says she loves all the ornaments. She's going to start making them next week. I, I just, I like to do that kind of stuff. Um, yeah. So, hope you guys will come back. Feel free to sprinkle if you liked this project and you think that your friends would like this easy project, super affordable. I mean, 25 cents maybe, if even that, um, then feel free to sprinkle. You can't wait to start creating with me this afternoon. Oh, I'm so glad, Linda. Alrighty, guys, I'm gonna let you go. And I will see you uh, this afternoon on a future video to show you all of that and give you some more description about what we did. If you missed the beginning, you can go back in just a second after I'm done being live and you can watch it on replay. Alrighty, talk to you later. Hope you'll join me this afternoon.